Uh, Han, so it looks like we got a Band-Aid solution this week with this four-month extension. Uh, how is this going down in the German press? Well, the German press is basically sort of disappointed in a way, that not disappointed with the overall deal, but disappointed that Europe has come to this. Let me hold up the front page of the Frankfurt Allgemeine for you here. This shows a flag over the Greek parliament, over the Greek finance ministry, of the European flag in tathers here. I'll get my finger in the right spot there. That really captures some of the, some of the mood here. It's real challenging here, even though it's past noon. But uh, it really captures some of the challenges that Europe is going to be facing going forward. In some ways, the next four months are going to be as turbulent as the last four weeks. You still don't have any promise to dispense new money to Greece unless they complete the reforms, unless they show progress on the reforms, and they're going to face a cash crunch pretty soon. So the bad news is you guys are going to talk to me as much in the next four months as you did in the yeah. last four weeks. Uh, it, it's, it's good news to me, Hans. We always love having you on. Uh, but my question is, we do, do we have any reason to hope that in four months from now we will be having a conversation that sounds any different from this one? Yeah, if trust is built, right? And this, if you take Verfakis at his word that he wants to build trust between, you know, partner institutions, by which he means the Troika, which we can't say anymore, and the Greek government and the new Greek government, if trust is built, in four months' time, you could see some way to do something with that crushing debt burden. Maybe you calculate it more in terms of net present value because you look at the overall payments. They're a lot lower than what the debt level would suggest. So maybe you have something in four months that's positive, but there's going to have to be a lot of hard pills to swallow in Athens by the new government first. Guys? Uh, Hans, now that you've had a day to sit with this document that came out of Greece, are these new promises yeah. that they're making? Or is it just yeah. another way of saying, no, seriously, what we said in 2010, we're definitely going to do it this time? No, it's even less than that, Brendan. It's what we said in 2010 and 2012. Maybe we'll do some of it, and we won't halt the things that we talked about halting during the election campaign. So, and that's why you saw Madame Lagarde being so stern on this, because clearly you read this letter, this document, mm -hmm. and there are things that contravene the tenets of the bailout package. Mm -hmm. And so we still don't know what they're going to do on VAT, on the value-added tax. We still don't know what they're going to do on privatization. That's fueling Lagarde and as well as Draghi's concern. Guys? Uh, you know, Hans, I remember your piece where you snuck into Bergheim early in the morning. I think what you need to do is you need to get Cyprus and you need to get Merkel and you need to all go to Bergheim together. Uh, that would make for some pretty excellent TV. Hans Nichols, thank would, you so that much. That would not be family-friendly television. Yeah. <laughs>